Right, so this is my truck. We're just going to look at the outside. So that's the game, y'all. Um, thank y'all for watching another video, baby. This video is just really like, uh, it's just like a life, um, a day with Jasmine, y'all. This was a highly requested video, so I guess y'all just want to see what I do on the regular in my house, y'all. So today I'm not going nowhere. I'm just chilling. So I'm just show y'all what I do in the house. Um, like I be hungry, but I I can't eat, but I can eat noodles. So yeah, I literally wake up every morning and eat noodles. It's not a game. I promise y'all, it's not a game. This is my last pack of noodles today. So to me, I gotta go to the store, re up on some more. Um, I will make my flat tummy tea, but I'm I'm too hungry right now. Normally you gotta you gotta make your flat tummy tea before you eat anything in the morning time. But I ain't got time for that right now. I need to eat my noodles, then I'll drink my flat tummy tea. So y'all, I'm finna just go ahead and get this noodle ready. So while I'm getting my stuff myself situated, I'm just going ahead and insert a video in on how I get my hair done because I'm not doing my hair today and there's been a lot of people asking me how do I do my poof ball. So yeah, just go ahead and watch the video while I'm getting myself together. What's up, Dutch Gang, y'all? And I'm back at y'all with another video, y'all. And this is just going to be like basically get ready with me. I already brushed my teeth, took bath and everything. So I'm going to show y'all how I do my puff ball real quick. Because there have been a lot of comments like, how do you, do you get your hair like How do you get your hair like that? How do you get your hair like that? So I guess I'll show y'all. I don't know. Since y'all want to see it. Yeah, you got to comb your F for a while, okay? Because when your hair nappy... It's like your poof ball don't be as big. It be small looking. So, and then my hair shrivels up. So I be liking my puff ball to look big. That's why I got to make sure I comb it real good. Well, I'm not really combing it today because I don't feel like I combed it yesterday. But I'm using a weed brush. Okay. So now that my hair, my poop ball is combed out bigger. This is what I use, y'all. This is the only gem that I use because this holds my hair. Nothing else holds my hair. Edge control don't work. Nothing works but this. So this is what I use on my hair. I have real nigga slave hair, y'all. Like, this is not a game. So I really just put the jam on my edges. I don't put it over my whole head. I just put it on my edges so my edges can lay down. See? So my edges can lay down like that. And I just do it all over. This basically like, you know how people put their hair in ponytails? I don't wear ponytails because look, this is how I look with a ponytail. Stupid. That's how I don't wear ponytails. I don't know. Some girls be so pretty with their ponytails, though, but I'm not one of them girls. So I'll choose to wear my poop ball. So, yeah. Hold on, y'all. Well, let me finish putting that. Yeah. You guys, so I'm making this video about um, me wanting to move to Texas. And I'm just going to basically tell y'all why I want to move to Texas and why do I feel like that's the best choice for me. As soon as I get done doing my hair. I be having to get it all around. In the back. In the back, I'll put an extra jam on there because I really like my back to lay down. Oh, yeah. So, you take your brush. You just brush your edges down, y'all. Of course, of course, I'm using a hard brush. This is not a soft brush. I don't have soft hair, so I have to use a hard brush. So, when I brush it, I look 
I look at my edges again to see what's sticking up. So you see like this part is sticking up, right? So I just retouch it. I retouch it up again until the lay flat. Yep, see now it's laying flat. Make sure I hit that back again. Hold on, y'all be back. All right, y'all. So now I take, I only use shoe screens. I might use, I might cut up a headband or a flexi band, but nine times ten, I use shoe screens, and I just put it around my edges like that, and then I hold, I hold the screen tight, y'all. You see, I look tight on my head. I hold it tight and push the screen up. It's like me adjusting it, me adjusting to where how I want my poop ball. How big I wanted to look. Like maybe I wanted to look real big today. Or I might want it to look a little smaller. But this how I wanted to look today. I wanted it to look big. So I'm using big. That's why sometimes y'all be like, wow, you have a lot of hair. I do have a lot of hair, but sometimes I make it look bigger. Sometimes I can make it look smaller. It's just depending on how you adjust your shoe screen, basically. And then you do it. You tie it up so the shoe screen won't come loose. And then you take like these end piece and tuck it in the back of your head so they won't come down. So you take, lift your hair up and tuck it. And you lift your hair up on this side and you tuck it. And you tuck it up under there so it won't fall out. And then that's your poof ball, y'all. That's how I get my poof ball done. Then I take the brush. And you see my edges is laid. So I just swoop them a little bit. Sometimes I might swoop it a lot. But today I just want to do it a little bit. So, yeah. If you don't have if you don't have like a perfect swoop, then just gel it up and re-soup it. Until you get the however type swoop you want. Cause yeah, I really don't know how to do edges like that. But I know how to like do a little swoop. So, you know. Cause you really don't want your baby hairs to just be scraped back. You kinda want it to have a swoop. And yes, I already brushed my teeth, like I said. So I'm saying, did you even brush your teeth? Yeah, I did. So, and that's how I transform for TikTok. And this is how I look when I'm done. So, you guys, let me tell y'all why I want to move to Houston. Hold on, let's just put my Baja on. So, if y'all want a BBL update on the body, I'm probably like six months post op right now. If y'all want to update, just let me know. Comment down below, and I'll drop a six-month update, BBL. Well, y'all, it's been so many, like, comments and questions about the Jag truck. So, I'm finna just go ahead to let y'all meet her, period. So, let me find the keys, honey. Oh, y'all, I changed the lights in the hallway to blue, turquoise, whatever you want to call it. So, yes, all the lights are changed to blue even the light in the kitchen is changed to blue okay here you go the keys to the jet truck you guys i have a 2019 f-phase 3t sport so this is my truck we're just gonna look at the outside of it really quickly i haven't unlocked it or anything but this is how it looks on the side 
And then I'm gonna show y'all how it looks from the back. And this is how the car looks from the side, you guys. It's kind of windy out here. But y'all, y'all see how the windows is folded up, right? When you unlock the car, the windows fold out. I think that's so cool. And at nighttime, like the jag light come on. Like it's a light right here. Y'all see the light? It shines and it's a jag on the floor. So I'm gonna show y'all the engine. Let me tell y'all something. I never opened up this engine before. I have no clue how to open it. I might have to Google it. Cause that's the trunk. So how the fuck do I open the engine up? Wow, y'all, I never opened this engine up. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta Google it. So y'all, I am like, I cannot open this engine up right now. Like my brain can't even function right now to even Google how to open up this engine. This is crazy. Like, why would it? Why would it not be a button on here? Yeah, I'm not a car expert. Y'all want to know the reason I bought this car? I originally wanted a Range Rover, you guys. So when I went to the um, I went to Buckhead dealership. Y'all, let me tell y'all the whole story. Forget the engine. Let me tell y'all how I end up buying the Jag, y'all. So I end up buying. Okay, one day. Hold on. Let me. Let me crank the car up. Let me put your foot on the brake, and the push start is right here, you guys. So, and that's how you crank the car up. Period, boo. So let me tell y'all how I end up buying this car, y'all. Let's get into the story. How I bought the car. Let me car. tell y'all how I bought this car, right? So one day I woke up and I was like, I want a truck. I had an Infinity or whatever. I had an Infinity. 2018 Q50 and I just got tired of riding cars like I done had so many cars so I was like you know I just want to buy me a truck like I'm giving me a truck period that was the only thing that was on my mind right so I originally wanted to buy a Range Rover um a Range Rover 2020 actually the Valero and I had I wanted to put probably like 20,000 down on that car right so I end up going to the Range Rover dealership in Bookhead in Atlanta, y'all. I don't know why I went to Bookhead in Atlanta, knowing that my credit ain't the bestest credit to be going to Bookhead in Atlanta, right? But I thought by the amount of money that I had, that they was gonna still work with me. You feel me? No, they didn't. But let me <laughs> let me tell y'all. So I go, I talk to the man, the same man who sold Lakita Jack. I talk to the same man, and I'm like, um. Shit, I want um, a Range Rover, a Valero, and that's my dream car. At this point, I just want a truck, and I got enough money to at least put enough down to where I know where I, I know I had to put at least more than more than ten down on that car. I already knew what was going on. You feel me? So I'm like, all right, shit, I got twenty for the car, right? So then he like, um, oh yeah, the bank will work with that. The bank will work with that. So I'm like, okay, cool, whatever. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Let me see if I can put y'all up here real quick. Let's see if this is working for me. Yeah, y'all. So, I'm like, got down. I got money to put down on this car or whatever. So, he like, all right, the bank the bank should be able to work with you. So, meanwhile, I got there at 9 o'clock, y'all. 9 in the morning. I'm the first bitch in there trying to get a car, all right? So he like, yeah, we'll work with you this, that, and third. So he go pull, he go to the bank. He like, we go outside, we pick out what car that I wanted, y'all. It was a white Valero. And it was like, yeah, it was white and it had like the tinted windows or whatever. It was hard. It was a, like a 20, it was like a 2018. It wasn't a 2020, y'all. It was like a 2018. And I was like, oh yeah, I fuck with it car. I'll take it, I'll take it. Cause it was hard. So then he like, all right, cool. Um, I'm finna start bringing, I'm finna start um, dressing up your paperwork. So I'm like, all right, yeah, bet. So he like, um, oh yeah, this body suit be having me so like out of breath. So if I sound out of breath, it's cause of the suit, y'all. So hold on, let me see. Let me see this up a little bit. So yeah, y'all, so he like got now, um, He's he get my name, my social, everything. So he like, yeah, go sit, go take a seat at the back, and we gonna start sending the paperwork to the bank, y'all. So this ten o'clock now, we sending all the paperwork to the bank. So around about twelve o'clock come, 
And I'm like, damn, the bank still ain't saying nothing. He like, shit, a couple, the bank's not approving you. So I'm like, damn, fuck. So he like, um, he like, what? Why do you want the Valero? Like, what makes you want the Valero? And I told his ass because of the little twisty knob that this car got. I was, that's why I wanted the Valero. I wanted the Valero because of the, um, the gear shift, and I wanted the Valero because of the way the doors came out, y'all, and the little screen too on the inside. So I was like, yeah, that's why I want the Valero. So he was like, I got a car something like the Valero. And he bought he brought around a Jag 2017, y'all, a red one, right? But meanwhile, I seen I've been seeing a blue Jag on Atlanta Fine Cars, y'all. So I'm like, damn, this the same car that Atlanta Fine Cars got. But I never like I never looked in it. Like I never went up there to Atlanta Fine Cars at first because Atlanta Fine Cars be wanting like twenty thousand down. And around that time, I didn't I didn't have it to get to Atlanta Fine Cars. But when I ran into it. Instead of going to Atlanta Fine Cars first, I went to Bookhead trying to be bougie. Dumb shit. So, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I went down there or whatever. His ass was like, he brought around the Jag. That Jag had like 45,000 miles on it. It was 2017. It was a red motherfucker. And it was like the, it was the base model Jag. It wasn't even this one. It was like the lower level Jag. So, I'm like, damn, yeah, this car hard. So, he not telling me that this car really only 30,000. He like, I still got to put 20000 down on this car. So I'm like, I right, bet. We'll try to take it to the bank and see. Meanwhile, we this 2 o'clock now. We at 2 o'clock, y'all. So I'm like, just take it to the bank. At this point, I'm taking whatever. So he sent it to the bank. The bank still didn't approve it. So he like, man, he like, man, the car ain't number 30000 You got 20000 So I don't know why they ain't approving it. So I say, I say, fuck it. How much the car is? He like thirty. He was like, with taxes and shit, it's going to be like a 40, but I could cut it down to a 35 for you. So I'm like, shit, I'm going to just buy the car. Fuck it. I'm going to just buy it. Because at this point, I just want to get a car and go. Because I only came to get a car. Like, just give me a car. You feel me? And it's a truck. So I'm good with a truck. And then the Jad truck is still bigger than the Valero truck. And then the Jad truck got 180 miles. I mean, 100 and, um, 180 on the dash, y'all. And I don't know what that I don't know what the base model got, but I know the jet truck that I got right now have 180 on the dash and it going sport and demon mode at the same time, y'all. Like this car right here, this this is him right here. No cap, no keys to cap right there. But look, so he like um he like all right, well, we're gonna draft up the paperwork so you can just go ahead and cash out and buy on and buy the car. So I'm like, all right, bet. So he like, all right, yeah, um, he take me to the other side of the um dealership and he made me sit upstairs y'all this is two o'clock i ain't ate i ain't smoked i ain't did shit like as soon as i got up i went straight to get a car y'all so i'm already irritated as fuck and then i'm already irritated because i'm finna spend spend thirty thousand on the car y'all i'm like i ain't never spent thirty thousand on shit in my life and you talking about the motherfucking car <laughs> like that shit was i really didn't want to i did not want to cash out on my car but it's a blessing that i did though but it ended up Okay, let me just finish telling the story. So he was just taking so long, y'all. It come to like four o'clock. Nigga still ain't came with no paperwork, no shit. So I'm like, man, you know what? Fuck this. I call Atlanta Fine Cars. Cause at this point, I'm already in my mind, like, I'm finna have to buy whatever car I see at this point. Whatever car I like, I'm getting it. I don't give a fuck. Cause I I'm not finna leave this end of the day without no car. Like, I didn't give a fuck. I was not going to end the day without no car. That shit was gonna piss me the fuck out. I promise y'all. So I was like, <laughs> I call Atlanta Fine Cars. No, first I went on Atlanta Fine Cars website. So when I went on their website or whatever, they was like, uh, I seen a white one, a white, like 2018, I believe. And it wasn't as tinted as this one is, but it was cool. It was decent looking. It was like a cream white. It wasn't like white, white. It was cream white. So it was kind of decent. It was a decent looking jet, but it was a base level. It wasn't, it wasn't no fast motherfucker. It was a base level. So I called his ass and I was like, um, you got that white jet? Do you still got that white jet? He like, yeah, I got it. He like, um, how much? I'm like, first I asked him how much I got to put down on the car. He said 20000 So I said, you know what? I just want to buy the car. Fuck it. So then he like, all right. Um, just, I was like, is you going to close? What time you close? He like, we close at six. I was like, I'm coming all the way from Buckhead to Tara Boulevard, y'all. That's a long ass drive at 4 p.m. in the afternoon. 
So I'm like, just hold, just hold it, just hold it. Like, don't leave type shit. So I get there. I pull up. I get there probably like 45 minutes later. Then when I, when I get to the dealership, y'all, as soon as I get to the dealership, the nigga called me from the other, from Buckhead and was like, where you at? Um, I got the paperwork and shit ready. I'm like, shit, man, I already done went about another car. And I hung up on his ass. Cause like, man, bro, you he started taking all these white people before me, like, he just stopped giving a fuck about me. Like, I ain't been here since 9 o'clock this morning. So, I'm like, nah, fuck that. So, um, I get to the um place where I leave them, right? That's the Atlanta Fine Cars owner. So, I get to the place with them folks or whatever, right? So, he like, um, he like, I know you in a rush or whatever, but I just want to tell you, I got a 2019 L phase, and it's a sport. And he was like, it's a 3.2, it's a sport. And he was like, it only got 20,000 miles on it. He was like, but I'm going to need, I'm going to need 40,000. Because at first, the other car, the white one was just going to be a little 30 to cash out on. But he was like, if you want this one, you got to give, you got to give up 40. So I was like, um, let me see the car type shit. Y'all, my mind was so thrilled. So I was with whatever. As long as he got me a car, I didn't give a fuck. That's how I was. I promise y'all, as long as I ended the day with a fucking car, I didn't give a fuck. The car, the hardest car ever at that. Stop playing with me, bitch. This the, this car right here to come up. This car, like, bitch, I'm back. Y'all hoes thought I sat down 70 days, ho. I came back and shitted and, and took over the game, ho. Don't play, don't ever doubt me again. That's why I bought the Jag. Because motherfuckers doubted me. When I went and caught the Jag, motherfuckers bowed down. Damn, that's the Jag. Yeah, it's the Jag, ho. Don't ever play with me again. Don't ever. I had something to prove, and I proved it. Don't ever play with me. But yeah, so that's when it was like, um, damn, what I was saying. He was like, I got my doc I got a doctor driving around in it as a loaner car right now. He was like, but I could pull it up for you on the website. So he pulls the car up. Car hard as a motherfucker. Car hard as a motherfucker, y'all. I swear to God. I'm like, damn. Hell yeah, I'm finna spend 40 racks on that. Yes. I want it. I want that car. I got it. Here you go. Wow. And then it went, it went from there. I signed all the paperwork. I signed the whole deal. I got my pink stuff, my two keys. It was done with. Then his ass was like, um, the doctor had took like a whole hour to get to Atlanta Fire Cars, y'all. Because he was like, he was coming from Buckhead or whatever. But shit, he didn't want to get his car up. He didn't want to get a Jag up, man. His car was so motherfucking hard. He did not want to get a Jag up. So I'm like, shit, let me, let me get that. But that, let me hurry up. Where you at? So he come, he pull up. As soon as I see the car, the car look a little dusty or whatever, cause the car wasn't as clean as it is now, y'all. It was like, like somebody had been driving in this motherfucker. But I had done took, I had, I ain't even give a fuck about them cleaning the car, nothing. I had done took the car that got clean. It, I had got a detail clean. Y'all spent like three hundred dollars on getting that bitch detail clean. Like I want, I I pulled up to the um, dealership. I pulled up to the car wash in Camp Creek, y'all. Unlimited. Man, they know they no ditches. They no ditches in the jet, man. I pull up like, hey man, get this shit A1 for me. Please. <laughs> Please do this shit A1 for me. I don't clean my own car. I let them folk clean it. So I had them pulled up. I had them pulled up there. And they was like, goddamn. Um the most, the whole cleaning, like the highest detail cleaning was $279, y'all. It was the whole detail, motherfucker. I'm talking about brand new. Like, they gonna spend an hour and a half cleaning your car. So, you go sit in the luxury area and eat your muffins and shit type shit, y'all. So, I paid that shit. I ain't give a fuck. Clean my shit. <laughs> Clean my shit, man. They cleaned my shit so good. Like, my mama had done seen my car. She, my mama got a, um, a Jeep Wrangler, y'all. My mom had done seen my car. She said, man, that car so motherfucking clean, man. Every time people see my car, they be like, damn. That's the Jag. People always be trying to race me. This another thing, y'all. People always try to race the Jag. And they be underestimating the Jag. Like, I don't know. I don't know if they don't, if they don't be seeing the sport. Like, I don't know what the fuck be going on. But listen, buddy. My shit will smoke your shit. It's not a fucking game. My shit will smoke your shit. Like, okay, let me tell y'all. One time I was racing a Hellcat SRT. Well, Hellcat, whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. One time I was racing a Hellcat, y'all. 
So the boy pull up, he like shit, let's race. First of all, you're underestimating my jag because I can I can put my jag in demon mode and I can switch that bitch to sport. And that bitch gonna geek up. And that shit gonna take off. Like that shit gonna take off so fast. And one thing about the jag, when you inside the car, you don't even feel like you don't even feel nothing on the outside, y'all. Like it's only you. It feels so good. Like, it's only you. Like, the outside world don't matter. I promise you. It's like, it's like, you know how y'all in a car and the car makes so much noise? No, the Jag is silent. Even when you going fast, it's still not rowdy. It's silent. Like, you wouldn't even know that you going as fast as you going because you don't even feel it. But when you looking on the outside and you see how fast you going past all the other cars, that's when you be like, damn, I'm going fast. I just slid past their ass. That's how I go in the jet. Like that shit. It's like a smooth, a smooth pimp say, say a smooth criminal. That's what I'm trying to say. It's like a smooth criminal. Like then it go unrated, y'all. Like I done had a BMW, I had a Mercedes, I had two infinities, y'all. All them cars, police always used to fuck with them cars. Like they used to always hop behind them bitches for no reason. With the jet truck, nobody hops behind this car. Like Lord, I ain't trying to jinx them or nothing, but nobody fucks with the Jag. Like, the Jag literally go unrated because really when you see the Jag, I'm not trying to be racist or anything, but you see older white people in the Jag or an older man in the Jag. You rarely see young people in the Jag. Like, only people I know that got a Jag is Tootsie, Le, Le, um, Tootsie Laboosie Son and Lil' Key and me. Like, I don't know nobody else really just riding around in the Jag for real. Like, that's really young. Everybody else like older white people. You get what I'm saying? That really don't cause no trouble. So that's why they that's why the jazz go on on bar on radar, y'all. But this is like the best car I ever had in my motherfucking life. I promise y'all. Look, this is it's the panoramic roof in here, you guys. Y'all, so y'all know most panoramic roofs don't even open up, right? Don't play with the jazz. Don't play with the jazz. Yes, ma'am. The pan the bitch opens up. That shit opens up, y'all. Hard as a motherfucker. I got to show y'all how the outside look with the window open. This the back of the car, y'all. This how the back of the car look. Like the um the media and everything. You click the home button. The settings. Y'all, I really ain't finna get too in detail with this. This the camera, y'all. Just to get the where the angles of the car at that camera's so clear man navigation yeah and then this my phone yeah my phone not connected right now and that's everything mm -hmm. so that's how the interior whatever it's called and then this the AC, the heat, all that button right there. That's the push start. This is where you crank the car up. So y'all yeah, remember when I said I could put my car. Y'all yeah, remember when I said I could put my car in sport in demon mode, right? It's already in demon mode. <laughs> Don't play with me, y'all. But look, it got demon mode, regular, econ, and rainy, y'all. So I'm just put it in regular real quick normal it comes down it go blue and then econ this like to save gas type energy then this like when it's raining and you need to lock the tires up you see that came up when you need to lock your tires up and stuff because you don't want to slip and slide it also got the automatic start and stop like when you go to a light it'll stop like it'll, the car shut off with this button like basically saving gas and then it'll crank back up when you pull off. But that's me putting it back in demon mode, y'all. And then you put it in demon mode and you crank that bitch up the sport. Man, that bitch gonna take off. Do you feel me? That's why nigga underestimate the jag. I'm telling y'all, this car so motherfucking fast, it'll shock your ass. But y'all, let me let me show y'all how I look with the um with the roof in it. This how the jet look with the roof laid back on period. Yep, and that's how the car looks. 
guys. So that's kind of it with the um, car tour and everything. So I'm going to go across the street and take a little walk, you guys. So I guess I'll let y'all walk with me, walk and talk, because I do have my thigh hot on. So let's go. Yeah, when it comes down to the social media, you got to let the haters hate. You feel me? Because this is only the beginning of the haters. Motherfuckers was finna be coming out the Whitworth, y'all. Y'all know how after this shit get, so. You feel me? It is what it is. You know, I, I accept everything every which way. All publicity is good publicity at the end of the day. Whatever get us on the billboards, you feel me? So, <laughs> at this point, we just doing what we doing and we having fun and we kicking it. So, don't take shit personal. That's what I hate. Like, one thing... Too, I gotta learn to not take shit personal too. So I gotta take my feelings out this social media shit, and just know that this is all social media. This is this is a job. Like this is what goes on. So I just gotta take my feelings out the shit. This game, we gotta take y'all feelings out the shit, and then we just gotta make our bed. We're not we're not fan base. So do whatever the fuck we gotta do, y'all. At this point, I'm finna start just going slap crazy on TikTok, Instagram. Anything to get the brand out there. Alright, you guys. So that concludes today's video. Next up on YouTube is basically gonna be like what is like dating each sign at the zodiac, you guys. So just look out for them videos. Make sure y'all turn on y'all post notification bells. Um, thank y'all for watching this video. And I'm out.